How's it going guys, Vapov here and welcome back to another video. Now this one's gonna be a very current topic. It's talking about OnePlus's new venture called Nord or the new beginnings as they like to call it. Now, there are a couple of reasons why they're going this route and I'm gonna name you two main reasons why and I think it's going to make sense. Number one, they sort of have become the flagship nowadays. OnePlus is the flagship when it comes to smartphones and I think they wanna go back to their roots. They wanna become the flagship killers and this time they're just killing themselves because they're already there when it comes to flagships like the OnePlus 8 and the 8 Pro. Now they're releasing a new smartphone in the OnePlus Z or the OnePlus Nord and calling it or potentially maybe calling it a flagship killer. Number two is the political standpoint between China and India. So if you don't know, the situation between those two countries is a bit sort of iffy with India trying to boycott all Chinese made products. And in that scenario, what Nord is trying to be or trying to be for the consumers at least is a company that is truly India specific. So it probably will have parts that are manufactured in India. Most of the personnel that's working on this phone will be manufactured in India. And basically everything to do with the Nord brand slash Nord smartphone will be India specific. And that way OnePlus retains the audience from India and doesn't have that negative connotation among the audience when it comes to it being associated with China because OnePlus at the end of the day is a Chinese brand. But without getting too political and getting into the whole situation with that, I'm pretty sure you can find more information about that on the internet. We're gonna go ahead and look at this Instagram page. So the OnePlus Lite Z thing is an Instagram page that's unbelievably an official page for this new product. And they've been sharing quite a few photos over the past couple of days, just teasing new beginnings and what they're trying to do with their flagship. There have been three codes with this, and that's something that I want to address. The first one was crack the code number one. This was Morse code saying July. So this product is coming out in July. Pretty standard stuff right there. This was a more of a challenge because many people didn't really get what it was trying to point at. I still don't know what it's trying to point at, but one of the smart people over on the comment section actually pointed out that this might be a hex code for a teal color variant of the phone. And that makes sense considering the fact that if we go to this next teal right here it does show something that's teal that's blurred out so we might be seeing a teal colored version of this smartphone whatever this thing is going to be called as even OnePlus is saying and number three this was the most recent one this basically is a location tag for their headquarters in China I don't really know what to make of it as much as you know the other two codes but hey it's a significant one and I thought I'd point it out anyway but this is the official page I followed it just a couple of minutes ago because they, they're private. So you have to follow them in order to see their posts. I don't know why that's the case. Maybe they just want more followers. But let's get into the next piece of news I have. Now, this was a tweet by Ishan Agarwal on June 22nd. And believe it or not, it was June 3rd when he said that the OnePlus Z code name was actually Project Avicii. So Avicii was one of the most popular a mega DJ when it came to that type of music. And unfortunately, he passed away in 2018. My condolences. But I think with this project, OnePlus wants to, you know, commemorate that or commemorate his work. And this is something to keep in mind because the next piece of news is actually a OnePlus documentary trailer. So this was published yesterday over on the OnePlus official YouTube page. And what it goes to show is the project they had in hand. So apparently this Nord slash Z project was supposed to be executed in six months. And for the project man management savvy people out there, it might have been an agile project. I know one of you guys who's watching this video might get that. But anyway, so um, a couple of things I want to point out here. Uh, we do see a still here showing the actual price tag of the phone. Now, I don't really know what sort of currency this is in, but this does point to a budget or so for the price. A second thing I wanted to point to was the 38 second mark where they do show off the true wireless earbuds from OnePlus. Now, there's no confirmation on this, nothing official on this, but yes, it's been teased in the trailer. So that's something to keep in mind. And the last thing is here. This guy is wearing an Avicii sort of jacket or shirt and that overall solidifies the fact that this phone might have been a codename 
for or might have been the phone's code name might have been Avicii. So that's the three things to keep in mind for this video. You can watch the entirety of this video over on the OnePlus YouTube channel. Now, before we get into the actual leaks of what we're starting to hear more recently, I want to point out this leak from OnLeaks. This was back in the day, I think the start of the year. I think, yeah, January 5th, 2020 was when this thing came out. And this was apparently the OnePlus Z. Now, since then, there have been a couple of changes and sort of the launch of the product has been delayed to July 10th. That's when we're going to expect this product to come out. But according to leaks, we're going to see a quad camera setup. I don't know how sure that's going to be. But according to a very, very confirmed leak, it's actually going to be a dual camera setup on the front, making this phone a selfie centric phone. So this is an exclusive coming from Android Central. I just sort of read the article a couple of hours ago. And basically, the first Nord phone that OnePlus is going to be launching is going to have a 32 megapixel front facing camera with an 8 megapixel camera as well. Now this goes to show that OnePlus is truly borrowing from its parent company like Oppo as well as Realme. Now I do have the Realme 6 Pro with me here and it's very interesting to see that it too has a dual punch hole style camera setup on the front. Again, uh, P40-esque as well if you want to go there. But basically I think this just eliminates the cost factor when it comes to manufacturing. And for OnePlus, that obviously makes sense given the fact that this phone is going to be sold at a reasonably cheap price tag. Now, in terms of other specifications, uh, we, we're not really sure as to what it might be, but I do have an inclination that it's going to be very, very similar to the Oppo Reno 4 slash 4 Pro series. And if we were to actually jump into the specifications of the smartphone, we'll be able to see that a lot of these things make sense. So the 90 Hertz AMOLED panel, I think that's going to be on there for sure. Sure. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G processor, that's another given sort of surety that this phone is going to come with. Now in terms of flash charging, that's a topic that's, uh, you know, not that clear. I'm guessing it's going to come with 30T watt supercharging, so warp 30T, uh, 30 watt supercharging, that's more dash charging as OnePlus likes to call it. I think that's a staple um, feature that this phone is going to have, the Z or the Nord, whatever they call it. But I think when it comes to battery capacity, we could be looking at around the 4000 to the 4300 milliamp hour battery life. Um, I did mention that there was an Amazon leak a few weeks ago prior sort of leaking the specifications of the phone. We don't know how accurate that's going to be, but um, that was also pointing to somewhere between the 4000 to the 4500 milliamp hour range. As far as the camera goes, I, I really do think it's going to have a triple camera setup, even though many people are saying that it's going to be a quad camera setup. If we go here, 48 plus 12 plus 13, I just think it makes sense for a phone, especially at this budget price point. And I don't see the problem in having, you know, um, a relatively inferior camera. If you're getting Oxygen OS, Android 10, a good processor in the 765G, although an even better one would have been the 768G, which is an upgrade in terms of, you know, 5G capabilities, as well as a bit when it comes to raw power. But 765G, you can't really complain given other phones are also going for this. And I think it borrows a lot from the Reno 4 series, and that's why I'm going for it. I think even the color makes sense, the teal bluish color. The Oppo Reno 4 already has a color like that. so. Um, it's just the perfect combination because the Reno 4 is a more China specific phone at the moment and for OnePlus to bring it to the international audience would just make sense. Rebranded, the OnePlus Z, Nord, new company, everything just falls into place. And I think with that we can move on to sort of the specifications aside from all the things we talked about. 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. I don't think it's going to be expandable because OnePlus doesn't like to do that. And that pretty much sums it up. I don't think they're going to revert back to a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We already know what type of screen it's going to be. Um, and pretty much OnePlus aesthetics on the overall aside from that. Now in terms of price, that's where things start to get interesting. Uh, with this phone being geared towards a European slash Indian market, they have to keep in mind that these are very saturated market, especially the India one. So uh, between the 20,000 rupee and the 30,000 rupee, there have been 
plenty of smartphones that offer great value for money, especially in India. The one that comes to mind very recently was the Realme X3 Zoom or the X3 rather that just came out two days ago. It's going to launch at a price of around the 25 to the 28 thousand rupee mark and if we were to go by the rumors that we're hearing about the OnePlus smartphone, it's going to sell at around the $299 price tag which translates to 22,600 rupees and if they can do that, I think they've nailed it. Now this won't have things like wireless charging, it won't have IP68 certification because not even the OnePlus 8 has that unless they want to completely ditch that lineup, I don't really know. But these kind of features might be reserved for their flagship level OnePlus series. Um, as far as stereo speakers, I think that's something that OnePlus could definitely work on and a glass build because I think people in this day and age want a solid phone that doesn't scratch and for OnePlus to sacrifice on that would be a cheap move. But I think that pretty much wraps up what this Nord slash OnePlus Z phone is going to be about. Let me know what you guys think about the smartphone and this marketing strategy from OnePlus down in the comments. Are you happy with the trailer? Um, apparently more parts for the trailer are coming out on the 30th of, the, 30th of June. So that's something to look forward to for those avid OnePlus fans. 10th of July is when we're gonna see these officially, so look out for a video on that and I'll hopefully try to get my hands on the smartphone. Nothing uh, to promise, but hey, I'll give it my best shot. Thank you guys for watching, this was Vabhav, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.